welcome to my channel welcome to john's model maker today we've got issues one and two of eddie stobart moving the nation building the daft f double two double zero namely twiggy this is a new build for me it's uh it's a new one from hachette and here we have at the back twiggy daft f 2200 and a little article on twiggy there herself brilliant now I've been looking forward to this. Here are the parts. Issue one and the cab door issue two. So without further ado, let's get on with the build. Okay, so here's the first of the gifts. This is the toolkit, which came with uh, my package yesterday. In it we have cleaning cloth, some long nose pliers or short nose pliers, tweezer. There we go, a handy knife and two screwdrivers, PH00 and PHO, I would imagine. So, there we go. They don't say what they are on them, but uh, you can see the different sizes of, of them as well. So, that's going to be handy. Very nice. I think we'll try these uh, screwdrivers today because you just never know. And put that to one side. Here we have pack one with its own screwdriver. Get this out of the packaging and make a start. Right, there we go. That's the parts out. That is looking lovely. Now, I actually collected a introductory pack last week from uh, news agents in the town centre. Um, and when I went this week to pick up issue two, they told me they weren't doing it. And a day later, I got issue one and issue two from Hachette which is great and these are them now some of these do have a one on the back so we need to separate them they go on the grill i believe that's the grill one set of screws so we got 101 which is the bonnet we got the handle there we are the daff insignia DAF, the grill, and the DAF insignia again, 107, 108, and 109. That's those three with the number one printed on the back. Uh, reflectors for side lights and lenses for side lights, and seven 1.2 times 3 mil PB screws. Um, they have supplied a screwdriver, of course. There we go. Now, first of all, what we need to do is put this handle in place. If you can see that there's an angle to it and we need to just it's a push fit pop that in there what is that i don't think that's gonna fall out but you can always pop some glue on the back if you think it does or will now we can fit the lettering So we've got two, uh, there we go, got two D's there, there's the one with the number on, there's the one with the number on, I think they are slightly bigger, I'm not exactly sure of these, uh, they look exactly the same to me, but you never know, anyway, as we know, the D goes there, they're all push fit, that excellent stuff now what we need to do is fit the ones on the grill 
is I've got a, a one on them, like I said. Uh, well, you can actually see that, it's not too bright. Uh, I think you can just see it. It's bottom corner over here. Just so you don't get them mixed up. I thought there might have been a, a size difference as to why they don't want you to uh, get them mixed up. On the grill, the hole, one hole is larger than the other. You can't get the latrine wrong way around anyway. I can be awkward again in. Get in you. This one doesn't want to go in for me. A bit stubborn. It's better being uh, tight than loose. There we go. That's it. That fits there like so, and we can screw that from behind. Now I'm just going to soft cloth for this. And we have one, two, three, four screws. I'll try one of these screwdrivers. Yep, slightly magnetic. Had a recent trip on the M6 up near Carlisle where we spotted um, three Eddie Storbart trucks. First one was Esther Norris. Uh, second one we didn't get to have a, a look at due to all the traffic. And the third one, I've forgotten the name of it. I think it was Caroline something. There we go. That's the front of the bonnet. Now all we need to do is to fit these side lights. These do have a shape to them. Uh, you can just about see there. Yep. So they will only go in one way. And there we go. It's gone in love with that one. And so should this one. There we go. Lovely jubbly. Now all we need to do is screw them in. We'll fit the lenses in a second. One more screw. So now we can put the caps over them with the lens covers. There we go. It's the first one. And then the second one. There we go. Lovely jubbly. That's issue one complete. And it looks exactly like. That one might have picked up last week. So I've cheated a bit there because I've already done it once. But the good thing is I've got two so I can easily pick the best looking one to go on the truck. And I'm not sure which is the best one though. So one can be a souvenir. Excellent stuff. Well I hope you enjoyed that. There we have. That's issue one complete. 
what I do like about Hachette is the magazines and the contents of the magazines as you know with the Rootmaster and the Spitfire they have a lot of stories um, inside them and they make fantastic reading uh, this one is no different first of all we've got origins of the company and family and this is how Eddie Stobart Edward Pierce Stobart always known as Eddie was born in Cumberland now called Cumbria on 18th of April 1929 there are a few records of family before the 19th century but what is clear is that Eddie's father John Stobart married Adelaide Addie in 1928 it's just thought that John's family was originally from Northumberland as the name is more common in the northeast of the country now this article goes on for a few pages all about uh, the working life of the family and there is a timeline as well on the next page and then on the back page you got the article of Twiggy DAF F 2200 today Eddie Stobart Limited has around 2200 trucks in its fleet each carrying an individual's name the Stobart truck featured in this series is a DAF F 2200 the first vehicle in the Stobart fleet to be given a woman's name this is the story of that truck and obviously that is all about Twiggy Twiggy born in 1949 as Leslie Hornby Twiggy gained fame in the swinging 60s for a slight figure hence her nickname distinctive large eyes long eyelashes and cropped hair excellent stuff I wonder what Esther Norris's story is all about that'd be interesting to find out there we go anyway that's issue one complete let's move on to issue two and here we have issue two that's the parts the offside cab door list of parts offside cab door door handle mirror bar upper mirror upper mirror casing lower mirror lower mirror casing and four 1.2 times 3 mil pb screws with one spare so let's get the parts out okay so here we have the parts got the screws the handle the mirrors and the door itself and so let's check out this paintwork that looks lovely that there we go lovely jubbly maybe on jump okie dokie let's put these parts together we've got the handle here as well there we go now let's sort of see first of all it wants us to construct the mirrors now, there is a peg on the back of the mirror and there is a slot for it and a hole there just make sure you get the orientation right look at the shape of the mirror and it will only go in one way on this one there we go so it should go hopefully that won't fall out same with this one that's where it seats the peg hopefully got that the right way around there we go push fit excellent I think if you do get it wrong you can always push it out through there for now now what we need to do is to put it on this handle here now, basically it will only go yep as you can see the handle has got a shape to it there so and that's a cut out there it should be there we go like so same again here push them if you're going to push it with the mirror push it in the middle not the edges top or bottom otherwise you'll break it there we go that's the mirrors in place excellent stuff now it needs us to put the handle in place again this is got a location peg and there's a screw hole there that will just go like 
Oh, no, like so, is that one push in? Should push in place. It's going to be a toughie, that one. Let's see, push that. There we go. Be careful with these little plastic things, you never know. I know what we need to do is just screw it in place. There we go, that's the handle in place. Lovely jubbly, and then. We have the mirror to fit, and you can see it there and there where it fits, just like that. And um, we need two screws for this. Uh, da -da -da -da. Okay, okay. Steady like that. Slowly. There we go. All the jump one. Yeah, and then we can get this screaming place now. There we go. Not quite, John, not quite. Do, 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 do. There we go, that should have got it now. Excellent. There we go, that's that in place. It's two screws there, one there. That's all we need now. Is the internal mechanism for the door and the window. Brilliant, that looks great. Okay, so there we go, that's issue two. All done. That looks brilliant. Along with the bonnet. That's an excellent start. Fantastic. Let's just have a quick look at the magazine. First article is investing in trucks. In the 1950s, Eddie Stowart began to show that he had a good head for business. He also had a growing family and in 1957 established his own business separate from his father. Eddie and Nora Stowart had their first home near the market town of Wigton. The town was also the place where he chose to open a farm shop in the 1960s. After his marriage in 1951, Eddie Stowart and his wife Nora moved into a house outside the nearby town of Wigton, which they rented from a relative. Eddie's efficient work and fastidious neatness always leave the stat yard tidy, helps his business to grow. He bought two more threshing machines, although he was still working for his father, John Stobart, alongside his brother, Ronnie. There we go, the Eddie Stobart story. That goes on for three pages. Some lovely pictures in here, some old vehicles. The timeline as well, and Stobart and John Stobart. And well, second high school on the road how to be a truck driver very popular at the moment just paying more money a truck driver needs many different skills and the job can be perfect for someone who enjoys travel and managing their own work patterns so how do you go about qualifying for a life on the open road to, to become a truck driver in the uk you have to be over 18 years old and hold a full car driving license candidates also need a good level of basic education and physical fitness and have to be able to deal with customers and the legal and logistical sides of trucking, paperwork, logbooks, route planning and the safety aspects of loading and unloading. 
The next step is to undertake LGV, large good vehicle training, to obtain a license, which comes in two parts, category C1 for driving rigid vehicles between 3.5 and 7.5 tonnes, and category C for driving rigid vehicles over 7.5 tonnes gross weight. An additional test category C plus E allows a driver to operate vehicles with trailers. Excellent, that goes on for a couple of pages. And then, in issue three, we have the first of the tyres. Excellent stuff. Well, that was brilliant, that. I really enjoyed putting them two together. This is going to be massive, this. I've already got my shelf. Uh, approximately 1.2 metres, so it can either go here or up here which is brilliant anyway i hope you did enjoy that if you did please give us a big thumbs up subscribe hit that notification bell have a look at all my other videos and stay safe i'll see you soon thanks for watching bye